The world today has so very much to say to us. Words to tempt and to condemn, to distract and confuse. All of it, vanity of vanities. So to whom shall we go, if not to our Lord? And where shall we find him, if not in the love of our families, our teachers, and our priests? Where shall we find him, if not in the study of what is true, in the practice of what is good, and in the love of what is beautiful? Where shall we find him if not in the sacraments of the church and in needs of those he asks us to love and serve? Where shall we find him if not in the heart of prayer as he comes to us in his most sacred heart there on the altar? To whom shall we go if not to our Lord? And where shall we find him if not here? In recent years, we have been deeply blessed with a growing parish and a vibrant school, a place to worship, to learn, and to raise up a generation of men and women who love our Lord. But now, now it's time to turn from where we have been and to focus on what is next, because our Lord does not ask us to be complacent or comfortable in our blessings. He asks us to be the salt that purifies, the light that shines in darkness, the creative minority sent to revive a dying culture. And we cannot do this by taking our foot from off the pedal. We cannot do this without skin in the game. We cannot do this without taking the talents our Lord has given us and investing them into a future we may not even see, unless it be from the vantage of heaven. We cannot do this unless first and before all else, we are willing to give our hearts to the one whose heart bleeds for us. But what else would we want to do why else would we want to build? Where else would we want to serve? To whom else, Lord, would we go? You have the words of everlasting life.